Buckle up, America. The 2024 election just got real. The political landscape is shifting and the stakes have never been higher. With every passing day, new developments are unfolding, making this election one of the most unpredictable in recent history. Well, folks, it finally happened. The news we'd been speculating about for months broke last week. Joe Biden is officially out of the 2024 presidential race. This decision has sent shockwaves through the political community and left many wondering what the future holds for the Democratic Party. This, of course, means that Kamala Harris is now officially in the driver's seat. As the current vice president, Harris has been preparing for this moment, but the challenges ahead are immense. She will need to rally the party, secure endorsements, and build a coalition that can withstand the intense scrutiny of a presidential campaign. And let me tell you, the road ahead is looking pretty bumpy. With a divided nation and a polarized electorate, Harris will have to navigate a complex political landscape. The issues at hand are numerous, from healthcare and the economy to climate change and social justice. Each of these topics will require careful consideration and strategic planning. We've got a lot to unpack here. The Democratic Party is facing an uphill battle and every decision made in the coming months will be crucial. From selecting a running mate to crafting a compelling campaign message, the stakes couldn't be higher. A surprising donation from Donald Trump to Harris's campaign. Yes, you heard that right. In a move that has left many scratching their heads, Trump has made a financial contribution to his former rival's campaign. The motivations behind this unexpected gesture are still unclear, but it has certainly added a new layer of intrigue to the race, a scathing critique from former Biden advisor Kristen Welker. Welker has not held back in her assessment of Harris's chances, pointing out potential weaknesses and areas of concern. Her comments have sparked a heated debate within the party and among political analysts. And just to add a little spice to the mix, Aaron Sorkin, the man who wrote The West Wing, chimed in with a suggestion that Mitt Romney should join Harris's ticket. This unconventional idea has generated a lot of buzz, with some seeing it as a bold move that could unite different factions, while others view it as a risky gamble. You can't make this stuff up, folks, but wait, there's more. The twists and turns of this election season are far from over, and every day brings new surprises. From unexpected endorsements to last-minute policy shifts, the drama is unfolding in real time. The U.S. Secret Service director just testified before Congress, and let's just say it wasn't exactly a glowing review. Concerns about security and the integrity of the election process have been raised, adding another layer of complexity to an already tumultuous race. Plus, Olivia Rodrigo, everyone's favorite Gen Z angst queen, is using her platform to get young people registered to vote. Her involvement has energized a new generation of voters who are eager to make their voices heard in this critical election. This election is shaping up to be a real nail-biter. With so many variables at play, it's anyone's guess how things will turn out. The tension is palpable and the nation is watching with bated breath. So grab your popcorn, folks, because things are about to get interesting. The next few months will be filled with debates, rallies, and political maneuvering. Every moment will be crucial and the outcome will have far-reaching implications for the future of the country. This is going to be one for the history books. The 2024 election is shaping up to be a defining moment in American politics, and the decisions made in the coming months will shape the course of the nation for years to come. Stay tuned, because this is just the beginning. The Biden era is officially coming to a close. The president announced last week that he would not be seeking re-election, citing his age and a desire to spend more time with his family. It was a bittersweet moment, folks. Biden's departure paves the way for Kamala Harris to make history as their first woman to lead a major party ticket. No pressure, right? But Harris isn't a stranger to breaking barriers. She was the first female, first black, and first Asian American vice president. Still, this is a whole new ball game. The stakes are higher than ever. The spotlight is brighter than ever, and the pressure is on for Harris to prove that she has what it takes to lead the country. Can she unite a fractured nation? Can she defeat the looming shadow of Donald Trump? Only time will tell. One thing's for sure. All eyes are on Kamala Harris. Just when you thought things couldn't get any more chaotic, the U.S. Secret Service director decided to hold a congressional hearing. The timing couldn't have been more critical as the nation is on edge, waiting to see if the agency can step up to the plate. And let me tell you, 
It was about as reassuring as a used car salesman with a shifty smile. The director's demeanor did little to calm the nerves of those watching and the questions from lawmakers were relentless. The hearing focused on the agency's ability to protect candidates in the upcoming election. This is no small task given the heightened political tensions and the increasing number of threats. This comes after a series of high-profile security breaches, including, you know, that whole insurrection thing at the Capitol. The memory of that day still lingers, casting a long shadow over the agency's current efforts. Lawmakers grilled the director about the agency's preparedness, its staffing shortages, and its overall competence. The questions were pointed, and the answers, well, they left much to be desired. It wasn't pretty, folks. It was like watching a slow-motion train wreck. Only the train was full of top-secret information, and the tracks were made of pure anxiety. The tension in the room was palpable, and the stakes couldn't be higher. The takeaway? The Secret Service has a lot of work to do if they want to regain the public's trust. The road ahead is fraught with challenges, and the agency must rise to the occasion. And with the 2024 election just around the corner, the clock is ticking. Every second counts, and the pressure is mounting. Let's hope they can get their act together before it's too late. The future of the nation's security depends on it, and the world is watching. The stakes have never been higher, and the clock is ticking down to the final moments. Section 4. Act Blue's War Chest. Fueling Harris's campaign. Now, let's talk about money. Specifically, the mountain of cash that Act Blue has been raking in for Democratic candidates. For those of you who don't know, ActBlue is a fundraising platform that allows individuals to donate small amounts of money to their chosen candidates and causes. And boy, have they been busy. In the first quarter of 2024 alone, ActBlue processed over $1 billion in donations. That's billion, with a B. This surge in donations is largely attributed to the overturning of Roe v. Wade and the ongoing attacks on democracy by well, you know who. But here's the thing. This flood of cash could be a game changer for Kamala Harris. With Act Blue's help, she has the potential to outraise her opponents and build a formidable campaign war chest. And we all know that in American politics, money talks. Will it be enough to secure victory? We'll have to wait and see. Section 5. Trump's head scratcher. A donation to the enemy? Okay, folks, buckle up, because this next one is a real doozy. Remember how I said this election was going to be a wild ride? Well, it seems like the roller coaster just took another unexpected twist. Well, hold on to your hats, because this story is about to get even more unbelievable. Last week, in a move that can only be described as utterly perplexing, Donald Trump made a sizable donation to, wait for it, Kamala Harris's campaign. Yes, you heard that right. You heard that right, folks. The Donald, the man who once called Harris nasty and a phony, just gave her campaign a big old chunk of change. The Donald, the man who once called Harris nasty and a phony, just gave her campaign a big old chunk of change. It's like seeing a cricket player suddenly switch teams in the middle of a championship game. What in the world is going on here? Is this some kind of 4D chess move that we mere mortals can't comprehend? Is this some kind of 4D chess move that we mere mortals can't comprehend? Or is Trump trying to throw the election in a way that only he understands? Is Trump trying to throw the election or did he just accidentally click the wrong button on his computer? Maybe he was trying to donate to his own campaign and something went awry. Or did he just accidentally click the wrong button on his computer? It's not like we haven't seen tech mishaps before, but this one takes the cake. Honestly, your guess is as good as mine. But one thing's for sure. This bizarre turn of events has everyone scratching their heads and wondering what the heck is going on. But one thing's for sure. This bizarre turn of events has everyone scratching their heads and wondering what the heck is going on. Political analysts, journalists, and even casual observers are all trying to make sense of this. This is either genius or madness, or maybe just maybe a little bit of both. Could it be a strategic move to confuse the opposition? Or is it a sign of internal chaos within Trump's camp? Or maybe just maybe a little bit of both? Whatever the reason, this unexpected donation has added yet another layer of intrigue to an already unpredictable election season. It's like watching a cricket match where the rules keep changing and no one knows what will happen next. 
The political landscape is already a complex game, much like cricket, where strategies and plays can change in an instant. And just when you think you have it all figured out, something like this happens and throws everyone off balance. So as we move forward, keep your eyes peeled and your minds open. This election is far from over, and if this donation is any indication, we can expect even more surprises along the way. Whether you're a fan of Trump, Harris, or just a spectator in this political game, one thing is certain, the drama is far from over. So stay tuned, because the next twist could be just around the corner. And remember, in both cricket and politics, the game isn't over until the final whistle blows. So let's see what happens next in this thrilling saga. Until then, keep watching, keep questioning, and most importantly, keep wondering what the next move will be in this unpredictable game. Because if there's one thing we've learned, it's that in this game, anything can happen. And it usually does. So stay tuned, folks. The game is far from over.